The guitar maker named Grover Jackson had put me in touch with a goofy, oversized guy named Mark Norton. Mark wasn't the sharpest pencil in the pack, but he played in the style that had then become popular. Mark, who called himself Mark St. John, everybody was Saint something or other in the 80s, proved somewhat difficult to work with, too, though for different reasons than Vinny. One afternoon I told him, come in tomorrow with a solo for this song. He came in and played it the next day. It was pretty good. Cool, I said. Now play it again. He played a completely different thing. What? he said. I can't play the same thing twice. That's how this is done, I said. Another time I said to him, you know, sometimes it's not about what you play, it's about what you don't play. Listen to Jimmy Page. Listen to Paul Kossoff. Listen to Eric Clapton. I can play faster than those guys, scoffed Mark. Houston, we have a problem. After we shot the cover photos showcasing Mark, he came down with a rare arthritic condition. It often affects people's knees, but in Mark's case, it struck his hand. If you're going to have one part of your body swell, it shouldn't be your hand. Mark couldn't move his fingers. My doctor says it will go away in two weeks, he told us. I called him every day. Any better? No. We kept thinking he would wake up the next day and be able to play again. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Mark never played a single show on that tour, and finally we let him go, and Bruce became the permanent guitar player. Bruce was a real mensch. If you asked him how he was, he would give you a ten-minute dissertation about how his fuzz box wasn't working quite right, or describe his upset stomach in details better left unspoken, or complain about how he had gas the day before. Bruce became our fourth guitar player, and at some point I couldn't help thinking, what the fuck? I didn't want Kiss to become a backup band for me and Gene, or just for me, for that matter. We weren't Ozzy or Bowie shuffling through musicians, or at least I didn't want to be. This was supposed to be a band. I tended to frown on groups that went through numerous lineups.